Good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Hope you can uh, you can hear me. Just checking my microphone's on. Uh, happy Thursday. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, excuse uh, the earliness of this week's training. Uh, I'm catching a flight uh, later today, so I need to fit this training in uh, for you guys uh, before I travel. Um, and this week, we're talking all about uh, selling the idea. And you've probably seen me early in the week talking about this. And uh, it's a big, big concept that we share at Shift Success because a lot of police officers uh, find themselves wanting to go into business and they want to change their lives and uh, you know they are keen on doing so. Um, but something always comes up, which is a lack of money in doing so. And police officers think they have a lack of money so they can't get started. Uh, number two, um, because of that thought process, they stay in the job that's causing them you know, unhappiness. And number three is they think that they need money to get money. Uh, and that's a common myth in business. Um, and the reality is uh, money's all around us and we just need to think creatively. Uh, for those who have read my book, um, or sorry, for those who haven't read my book, I share this story where, you know, I was a broke detention officer. Uh, I was in debt um, and uh, I needed to build a business. And, uh, you know, in hindsight, I can say it's okay now. But at the time, when I told people I was going into the property industry, uh, they looked at me like I was a crazy person. They said, Alex, how are you going to get properties? You're earning this much. You are, uh, you're in debt. Uh, you're 20, I was 25 at the time, 24, 25. And uh, how are you going to do this, right? And uh, I never let money stop me. In fact, when I was financially broke, uh, I use that as a reason why I should go into business. So there's two types of people, people who say, I haven't got the money, so I'm not going to start. And there's people like me and others who we've got a shift to success who say, you know what? I haven't got the money. And that's a reason why I want to go into business to earn more money. Same thing with, uh, people and children. I heard this one a lot of the time. Uh, I'm, I've got kids, so I can't go into business. And then there's others out there who go, you know what, I've got kids and they're the reason why I should go into business because I want to spend more time with them. So there's always kind of a contrast, right? Uh, there's people who say, I haven't got the time uh, and that's why I can't go into business. And then there's people out there who say, uh, I haven't got the time, I'm working crazy busy and that's why I want to go into business so I have and regain back my life. So there's always that kind of mindset going on and it's very you know, interesting for me to see uh, the differences. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick. But we today we're talking about selling the idea, right? About money. People don't go into business because they think they need this amount of money to get started. So I'm going to talk you through selling the idea and I'm going to share my story of how I started the shift success. So, uh, God, uh, 2017, um, uh, I had, or well, 2016, I had an epiphany that actually, despite my results in property, uh, I realized I wasn't... Uh, that interest in property, uh, it doesn't uh, it ignite me, it doesn't really fill me. It's bricks and mortar at the end of the day, uh, very lucrative business, but doesn't really uh, turn me on per se, right? Um, and I realized, you know what, I wanna start something new. I want to start a business where I can help people. Uh, I think that's really going to fulfill me. I had a bit of coaching and mentoring experience in the property world. I really like doing that, but to be honest, the, the topic bored the hell out of me because you know, you know, with all due respect, it's property. It's not something that needs, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, work that put into it in terms of, you know, what you do. You buy a house, you fill it, that kind of thing, right? You buy a house, you sell it. It's not, you know, there's not kind of a lot of strategy in it involved. Um, so I realized that, big realization for me, people said I was mad for changing uh, businesses. Still got the business today, still runs very, you know, great. Uh, but people said, Alex, why don't you just buy more and more property? And I realized when you have money, you start to realize it's not about the money. Uh, it's about something that makes you happy. It's something that, you know, fulfills you and you know gives you the things you want in life. And I made that decision to change. And uh, as a result, uh, I founded Shift to Success in 2017. Um, now, in 2017, I realized no one else is doing this business idea and I needed to prove the concept. Um, and normally in business, we kind of look at competition and go, right, 
yep, there's a market for this. Uh, there's a roadmap for us to follow. I can go down this route and, uh, you know, uh, kind of take it from take from it what I will. And uh, so that means that I am choosing an idea. I'm building an idea that doesn't exist. So I wanted to make sure that this is going to work, right? And a lot of bad business practice is that sometimes people will take out loans and other forms of debt to fund their business but realize uh, when they do that, they they let uh, their wallet dictate their decisions, not good business practice, right? They let, the, oh, I've got all this money now. I'm going to spend it and spend it and spend it. And they think money is going to be the answer to their uh, problems. And that's not the case. And on the flip side, they let their wallet make their decisions when they're broke too, which makes basically means they, keep, they stay where they are. Now, thankfully... Uh, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to business. Um, I don't know if you can see the books. Uh, I've got a lot of book business books. Uh, I geek out on business a lot, read a lot of entrepreneur articles and stuff. And I realized that actually for this idea to work, I need to start speaking to customers ASAP. So what I did, I uh, started, I got a very basic uh, website. The website you see today is very different to when we first started, by the way, it was inexpensive. Got that up and running. Uh, it didn't cost me a lot at all. Uh, then I got uh, wrote a word a word document on a brochure, uh, basically talking to police officers, really understanding them the problems and etc. Uh, then I got a brochure created, which again very very cheaply. And uh, then I took some uh, order forms for me to collect bank details. And uh, at the time, uh, I started going to side Facebook groups, getting my name out there, getting the business name out there and starting kind of drummer up interest. And uh, what I did as well was then set up meetings with police officers from around the UK uh, in hotel lobbies. So cops from around the UK would come to Nottingham. Uh, it was at the uh, the Hilton uh, in Nottingham uh, in a thing, place called Baseford. And I would, you know, you know, be suited and booted, look professional. And I'd put a tab on for the coffee and have meetings back to back, try and meet cops, around three to four cops a day. So I'm not, you know, traveling back and forth. And that was the best thing that ever could have happened to me because in that um, early stage of the business, um, I got a lot of rejection. All right. A lot of rejection uh, from cops who I met, people saying it's a crazy idea. Uh, cops wouldn't pay that amount, everything you could ever possibly imagine, right? And um, through those conversations, what was happening is that I was piecing together the objections, the things they wanted to see, the things that weren't uh, in my brochure, uh, new ideas that these cops were giving me. And all I was doing is making all these notes and going, right, well, we're going to add that. We're going to remove this. Right, okay, this is an objection time. Let me put this date here. It was like a puzzle. And I think entrepreneurship is like a puzzle. Oh, today, I'm still frigging stuff out for my business and where we are now. So in the early stages, I was gaining all this feedback from my market by having conversations with them. And I was shaping my, my conversation, my talk, uh, my brochure, making little changes on the website, all that kind of stuff, right? And what happened... The 23rd, I can't remember to this day, 23rd or 24th police officer said, yes, she joined Shift Success Cut One. And uh, the next person I had a meeting with, they said yes. The next person said yes. We then ran an event and we were sold out. I think we produced about uh, over 30,000 in revenue uh, by the first time we launched. Now, what was interesting through those rejections, obviously I got the feedback but most people quit when they get maybe a handful of no's. They go, oh, this is not working, right? Success has a higher barrier of threshold. And I knew of something called statistical significance. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, signif uh, statistical significance basically means that I need 30 conversations with my target customer for me to make a data-driven decision as an entrepreneur. Most entrepreneurs uh, or, or people starting business, should I say, not entrepreneurs, sorry, uh, go by their emotion. 
They go, oh, I'm getting this rejection. This isn't working. And they let their emotions drive their decisions. And actually, the most successful entrepreneurs make data-driven decisions. They go, right, I've got this amount of no's. This one said yes. So from a percentage point of view, you know, this could be going in the right direction, right? And also the market feedback I was getting. So because I was aiming for 30 conversations before I changed anything or threw in the towel or whatever, I was on my 23rd or 24th and that person said yes. I had success. Someone had saw value in what we were doing or what I was doing at the time. And uh, I all of a sudden produced, you know, thousands in sales, okay? Now, it could have quite easily for me to use my property business bring lots of money over and go, right, I'm going to launch this thing and I'm just going to see who comes. That is stupid, right? And I don't, we don't teach this at Shift Success. We're very, very big fans of bootstrapping. If you really think about this, we have uh, hundreds now at Shift Success, right? We have hundreds this day at Shift Success. So I'm very proud of the team and what we've done. And if you really think about it, our target, our customers, our clients, they come from the public sector, they come from the police. And we all know that, you know, you're not paid a lot in the grand scheme of what you do. So that's why we teach bootstrapping, such as a principle called selling the idea. It allows our, our clients to get sales in first, to then obviously use that money to grow the business. So what happened with me is that I got my first sales coming in, which is amazing, by the way. I did a fist bump and I was like, yes, I'm going to do this. Um, but what I did, I then was using that money to build the portal. I then used that money to book the hotels that we was running our events at. I used the money to make the website better. I used the money for marketing to get our name out there more, right? I, I used the money to then uh, fund the operations of the business. And most people uh, just uh, don't do that, right? They just get the rejection or this idea isn't working or they go, I haven't got the money so I can't start a business. The best thing you can do, guys, is to raise money from your, invest, uh, from your customers, all right? The best thing. Because you're going to get market feedback. You know there's a product to market match. You know straight away, customer has bought this. That's a match, right? Number two, you're going to feel amazing that actually you don't need to use a lot of your own money to fund your operations. And, and number three, uh, it gives you that kick up the bum you need. Um, when you actually get a customer for the first time, uh, that is a sign all of a sudden you are in business. You're not in business before. Even if you've got an idea and you've set all this kind of website up, you're not in business. The first instance someone signs on the dotted line or deposit or money lands in your bank account, you are in business. Congratulations. But that feeling goes, oh, I've got to get shit done now. I've got to make this work because you've got a customer that's relying on you, right? So uh, three benefits there to actually getting out there and selling the idea. And also, you don't need lots of money because you're gaining the money from your customers by having those conversations. So that's how I did it. Um, at Shift Success. That's how our clients done it. You know, I've, I've shared a success story about Lorna Reeves, uh, Katie Saywell's done it, you know, Leanne Jones. We've, it's a strategy that we all do. Um, and it's a strategy that I recommend people do if they're serious about building a business, right? Um, don't ever let money stop you. Uh, we just need to think differently and actually change our approach to things. And it's actually quite simple uh, when you think about it. Um, guys, what I've done is created a uh, a guide called Selling the Idea. It goes into a bit more depth into a step-by-step -step process of doing this. If you want this, comment below uh, ideas um, and I will share that with you. Uh, myself or the team will drop you a link to that. You can download it. It's completely free, um, but check it out. It's going to help you if you are struggling with getting started and you're lacking funds. So all you need to do is comment below ideas. Myself and my team will see that. We'll give you the details and you can download that for free. Uh, hopefully it's going to help you in your journey. Um, guys, hopefully this has helped. Uh, hopefully you understand selling the idea. Hopefully that uh, you've had some light bulb moments from this. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have got value. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, uh, have a great Thursday. Uh, I'll see you soon because uh, I'm going to catch my flight uh, pretty soon. Take care, guys. And uh, yeah, have fun. Sell the idea. Cheers.